So from part one, I've just created a pivot table. And I think it's worthwhile just to have a quick look back at the property worksheet where the original data is from. And you'll notice that each row, you could argue, is a record. Each of the column headers has got a column header. So, for example, column A is date listed, column B is bedroom, etc., etc. Now, typically for pivot tables, what you're doing is you're dynamically summarizing data. The data in this case is the column on the far right hand side. In other words, the list price. So from here, if I go back to sheet two, which contains that empty pivot table, and you notice within the pivot table field list, you've got a series of column headers, each one representing its own column. If I scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see I've got the data called list price. If I select that particular checkbox and it puts it straight into the values area. So this is the actual data. And from here, we can start to slice and dice the data via this row and column labels area and also the report filter. So firstly, if I click onto the checkbox for account manager, and it immediately by default puts it into the row labels. So you can see from here, I've got a summation of all the records within the list price. For A Green, F Samuels, J Smith and W Charlton, with a grand total at the bottom. Now, if I don't particularly want to read this by rows, you can very easily just drag and drop the accounts field into the column labels just by clicking and dragging it over to the column labels. Now, again, it's totally up to you how you do this. You can either have it in columns or rows, whatever you feel most comfortable with, that's the way to go forward with this. I've also got a third option, which is the report filter. If I click and drag, move it up to the top, and you can see it gives me, it displays all the records. If I want to start again, I can very easily just click and drag this particular button for the account manager. And when I get the black cross, just let go and it returns it back to where it was before. If I want, I can have multiple fields within this pivot table. So for example, if I click back on the checkbox for account manager and then select type and also area, you'll see I'm having one field has been divided up into the next field, which is divided up into the next field. So I've got the account managers divided into the types, divided into the areas. Now, if I want to, if I just resize the pivot table field list a bit, make this slightly bigger. And from here, I can actually move these around. So for example, if I wanted the area to be then subdivided by type, to be then subdivided by account, I can literally just click and drag on these little buttons. And where the little blue line is, that indicates where the area is going to be moved to. And if I move type into the middle, and you can see within the pivot table, everything's been, everything has been switched around very quickly. If I remove account and also type, if I want to, I can also move those fields across into the column labels and also the report filter. So from here, if I click on account manager and then I can move account manager across into column labels. And perhaps if I wanted to move type into report filter. And from here, I can very quickly tell that for the Southwest County, for J Smith, the total figure of property is 3522811. Now from here, if I want to clear all these different fields from the pivot table, I could either click and drag on these various buttons within the pivot table field list, or I can click on two options. And from here, go to clear, and then select clear all. And it takes me back to where I was. Now from here, you'll notice that the pivot table field list on the right hand side has now disappeared and the reason for this is because I'm not actually in the pivot table so if I click back into the pivot table and again I can see the pivot table field list